Bienvenidos, welcome to Spain on a Fork. In today's episode, we're not gonna be making no average pasta. We're gonna make the most incredible Spanish pasta with roasted peppers and Marcona almonds. This is like the next level in pastas. Like I could seriously eat this every day. Loaded with so many flavors, super easy to make and done in under 30 minutes. The perfect pasta dish for one of those busy weeknights or for a weekend lunch. Now to make this recipe, I do recommend a couple things. The first thing is the pasta. I'm gonna be using whole wheat penny pasta just because it has such a great flavor to it, but you can use whatever type of pasta that you like. And I'm also gonna be using Kiva Sweet Smoke Spanish Paprika. This is one of the best Spanish paprikas in the market. You'll find a link in the description box below where you guys can get this. All right, folks, let's get started. We're gonna begin by grabbing four cloves of garlic and removing the skins. I always like to twist it because it's easily removed. And thinly slice them. Next, grab a large onion and cut it in half. I always like to remove at least two of the outer layers just because it gives the onion a better texture. And then finally dice the onion. Next, I'm gonna grab a can of black pitted Spanish olives, grab about 16 of them and cut them in half. You can use whatever type of black olives that you like. Now grab a jar of roasted red bell peppers and grab about six of them. Cut each one open and thinly slice them. Now grab a generous handful of fresh parsley and finely chop it. And finally, grab a quarter cup of Spanish Marcona almonds, put them inside of a dishcloth, and using a pestle, pound down on the almonds. If you can't find these fried almonds in your area, check on the iCard above where you guys can make these at home. Once you reach this texture, they're good to go. Okay, now we can start cooking. Grab a saucepan, fill it a little over halfway with water, heat it with a high heat, then season the water with sea salt, and add a drizzle of extra virgin olive oil. Now grab a fry pan, heat it with a medium heat, and add two tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil. After heating the oil for two minutes, add the slices of garlic and the diced onions and mix them around with the oil. Three minutes after adding the garlic and the onions, add the roasted red bell peppers, the black olives, one teaspoon of sweet smoked paprika, Season everything with sea salt and freshly cracked black pepper. And mix it all together until it's well combined. Then add half a cup of white wine and give it a quick mix. While our wine is simmering, our water has began to boil in our saucepan. So I'm gonna add two cups of whole wheat penny pasta and cook them for exactly nine minutes to get them perfectly al dente. Okay, now let's get back to our sauce. After simmering the wine for about two minutes, add one cup of canned diced tomatoes. Season again with sea salt, freshly cracked black pepper, a generous portion of the freshly chopped parsley, and mix it all together until it's well combined. And then lower it to a low heat. After cooking this pasta for exactly nine minutes, go ahead and drain it. Add the pasta noodles into the sauce along with the toasted Marcona almonds, and mix it all together until it's well combined. Once everything's well mixed, remove it from the heat, and garnish the pasta with some freshly chopped parsley. Okay guys, our pasta dish is done. Look how beautiful this came out. Let's give it a try and see how it tastes. Here we go. First things first. That pasta is perfectly cooked al dente. It's so important to look at the package instructions that tells you how long to cook it al dente. That way it has that beautiful texture to it. And let me tell you the rest of the ingredients. Between those roasted red bell peppers, the onions, the garlic, the parsley, the black olives, and those Marcona almonds just add another layer of texture. This is such a stunning pasta, perfect for any occasion. If you enjoyed today's video, hit that like button. Leave me a comment below, and if you're not subscribed, smash that subscribe button. Until the next time, hasta luego.